Baby girl, why are you being so pouty? Cause you embarrassed me. Now, honey, I wasn't trying to embarrass you. I was just trying to let you know that you spelt your name wrong. But I didn't. I know how to spell my name, Mama. You forgot the last two letters of your name. Yeah, on purpose, but you couldn't just let it be. You had to call me out and embarrass me. But why would you leave two letters out on purpose? Because everyone was like waiting on me and I felt rushed. So I had to hurry, which meant leaving off two letters. Nobody was rushing you. Yes, you all were because you told me to sign my name and I never signed my name. Mama always signs my name. And so the moment I stood up there to sign it, everybody was hovering over watching me and I panicked. So I tried to hurry. So I had to leave some off. Honey, I know you're used to your mama signing for you, but she asked me to bring you today, and I think it's important that you do some things on your own, something as simple as signing your name. But that's a form of growing up, and you are always saying, now baby girl, you need to enjoy these years while you can, cause being a youngin' is the best years of your life, and you'll be sad and miserable when you're older. But then you try to force me to do adult things. Well, I'm sorry because I didn't realize that having you sign your name was so adult. Well, good evening. My name is Dr. Junior. How are you two lovely ladies doing? We're doing fine overall, thank you. Well, you must be baby girl. But this right here, is this your sister? Because she's gotta be way too young to be your mama. Oh my goodness, thank you. But um, I'm actually her mama. My gosh. You see, baby girl, what you got to look forward to when you get older? You gonna look young forever. Tell me, little one, what brings you in? What's hurting? Baby girl. Oh, it's fine, mama. It's completely normal for kids to be nervous. Who's this little buddy you got? His name is Mr. Turtle the Frog. Well, hello there, Mr. Turtle. How about we examine you first before we do, baby girl? Oh my. Don't touch my frog. I'm sorry, I should have warned you. She is very protective of Mr. Turtle. I also think she's a little grumpy because she hasn't used the bathroom in about a week. That's why we're here. Well, I know how to fix that. Mama, I don't like the way you said that. Oh, sweet girl, there's nothing to worry about. It is a simple fix. Um, I think we need to get her an enema. And uh, is this something that happens uh, pretty often with her? Here lately, yes. She's been having a hard time going to the bathroom. Wait, what, what's an enema? Bless your sweetheart. Well, okay, then let's do this. Let's do the enema today. And then we're going to put her on a milk of magnesium uh, daily so that she doesn't have to keep having these tummy issues, bless her heart. Lord, she's just gonna love that. Yeah, um, the taste is something a lot of people aren't fond of, but now they do, they have an original and they got a cherry one, um, but from what I've heard, they both are terrible, so. But it's better than being constipated all the time. Wait, Mama, you said that it was just a checkup, that I didn't have to take any medicine. I don't want to drink any medicine. Baby girl, calm down. Sweet girl, no. This is medicine that you're gonna take at home daily. You don't have to drink any medicine today. We're just gonna give you an enema. But I, I don't wanna drink any medicine, here or at home, and, and, and every day? And what's an enema? I gotta get a shot? Sweetheart, calm down. We, we don't want you to pop. <laughs> you will not be drinking any medicine here? And we're not going to give you a shot, okay? Just an enema. Then, then what? If I don't have to drink anything and I'm not getting a shot, then then what's an enema and where does it go? Well, you see, there, there's no easy way of putting this. Um, Do Dr. Junior, do you think that I could possibly inform her what an enema is um, alone? Of course, it's a, it's probably for the best anyway. I'll give you two ladies a, a minute to d discuss what um, we're about to do, um, and I'll be back shortly. They're gonna do what? Well, are we ready? Um, Mr. Turtle told me he'd rather get examined after all. <laughs> I now know why they call it in my... Baby girl, are you okay? 
I feel like I flossed my cheeks with jello. Does that sound okay? Oh my lord, what is that smell? The jello slipped out. Oh lord, honey, you scared my mom. I thought you were outside playing with your friends. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I got too hot, so I wanted to come in and watch cartoons instead. But your cheeks ain't even red or splotchy. They're being mean again, aren't they? Oh, well, I don't want to talk about it. Well, that's not like you because you tell Momo everything. I don't want them to keep calling me a tattletale. Well, it ain't tattling if someone asks. They, they all took a vote once I got out there if they should let me play or not. And they all voted no. And then they started laughing at me when I teared up and walked away. Okay, um, well, how about Mama walks down to the family dollar and gets some ingredients and makes you some chocolate covered bananas? Okay, Mama. Hey, great. So you just relax and keep watching your little toony carts and Mama will be back as soon as possible. Well, hey, Miss Betty. Uh what can I help you with? Hi, um, I I'm sorry to bother you on your Saturday evening, uh, but I need to talk to you about your boy. Okay, um, what about him? Because I'm confused. Well, first, I just want to clarify, it's not just your child. I do think he is um, the leader, but it's the whole group of them. But you just happen to be the first house to come to on my way. Um, they all keep bullying my granddaughter and I want it to stop. So if you would please talk to him and encourage him to stop being mean to her, I would greatly appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Well, did you see this happen? Every time she comes to visit me, she ends up getting her feelings hurt and comes inside all upset because they keep teaming up on her and won't let her play. Okay. So you're going off of what your grandchild says and you don't have actual proof. My baby coming in crying all upset on a regular basis is all the proof that I need. You sure she's not just too sensitive? I think she has every right to be upset and your boy could use some sensitivity in his life, okay? Excuse me? They constantly pull her back and forth. They will even come to my house knocking on my door asking if she can come out and play as long as she's got these new toys or her big sister's home because they think it's so cool to play with someone who's older than them. But every time it never fails, they end up pushing her out of the group. Rather, they ask her to play or not, they're always teaming up against her, and I have had enough. Have a nice day, Miss Betty, and tell your granddaughter to toughen up a bit. Ooh, you're lucky that I promised baby girl some chocolate covered bananas so I can't go to jail today, but you had your chance. My turn. No, you didn't get me in time because I already said base. Every one of y'all get your little bratty behinds over here because I got something to say. Huh? Miss Betty? You blind Billy? Of course it's me. Why the heck are you putting a question mark at the end of it like you don't know it's me, you little rug rat? I'm just used to you always being so nice. Yeah? Well, those days are done because I've had enough of all y'all's crap. Miss Betty, what do you mean? Don't even try to play dumb with me. This is your one warning. Stop bullying my grandbaby or you're gonna get a taste of your own medicine. Look, I don't know what Wheezy told you, but I'ma stop you right there, Billy. She doesn't have to tell me anything because I see y'all's little games that you play with her all the time. Oh gosh, I'm tired of every single one of you all playing at her emotions. Don't try to walk away. <laughs> you are fine with her playing as long as it includes her big sister or you notice some fancy new toys that she has at the house because you know, regardless of how bad you all mistreat her, she always forgives you all and treats you all kindly and lets you play with whatever she owns. 
By the way, Missy, you better tell your mama to bring back baby girl's Barbie scooter that she let you borrow two weeks ago that you've been holding on to or else you won't have to dodge the cracks to keep from breaking your mama's back because I'll do it. Got it? Uh huh. We don't bully her. She's just a big sensitive baby. She has the kindest soul that I have ever known and the biggest heart. And she cares about everybody's feelings more than her own. Y'all should try it sometime. Mm-hmm. Miss Betty, isn't it time for you to go take your nap or something? Ah, oh, a nap. Rest. Something that you'll never be getting again, Billy, until you learn how to not be such a little jerk. Huh? You see, Billy, I can't really do anything to you on the count that I'm grown. And by the time you get grown enough for me to do something, let's be honest, I'll more than likely not be on this earth anymore. But all of them, well, they'll be sure to take care of you until I can. Who? Nobody else is around. Oh, but they are. You just can't see them. What? All of my past friends, and loved ones from the other side. From the other side? They're all here, Billy. Every single one of them never leave my side. And only I can see them. They're not very happy with you, Billy. Not at all. You're, you're joking. They're angry with you, Billy, because you keep hurting my baby girl. So now, You'll never rest peacefully again in your own bed. They're gonna be hovering over you while you try to sleep, Billy. Every chill, every sound, every uncomfortable feeling you get while you're in your bed is because they are very angry with you and they will always surround you. Oh, something just touched my leg. Oh, really? They tell me that they've already begun haunting you, Billy. They can't wait for tonight. Now, if y'all want the same fate as Billy, keep bullying my baby girl, and y'all will never rest again either. Got it? Uh-huh. Oh, I missed one. Hey, that goes for you over there, too. You understand? Huh? Me? I'm not in the group. Yeah, because you threw dog crap at us last time. No, last time was my own because you made fun of me, but you deserved it. Because you're always wearing those stupid tiny hands. It's weird. No, it's a fashion statement. Hmm. Straighten up. Got it? Uh-huh. Hey, you, tiny hands. Come here a second. <clears throat> Greetings, ma'am. How can I be of service to you? I'll pay you $10 a week to keep throwing dog crap at them. And an extra dollar every time you get them in the head. Yes, yes, this is my dream job. Uh, but does it have to be from a dog because I'm one and low? No. Honey, I have a ton of outside cats. Piles all over my yard. Plenty of supplies for you. Plus, I'll throw in an extra five dollars because it's a win-win for me. Because you're sticking it to them. Plus, you're cleaning up my yard in the process. Oh, wow. That will give me extra for more cool hats. I look forward to working with you. Likewise. Now, here's your payment in advance. Now I'm off to the family dollar. Oh, Billy, I got a widow something for you. It isn't possible, okay? You can't take a human and a human, put them together, and then they produce a cow and a chicken. It's just not logical. It happened, mama. But how? How did it happen? Because the math ain't mathin', baby girl. Well, maybe you're not as good at math as what you thought, Mama. It's in the song. Mama had a chicken. Mama had a cow. Dad was proud. He didn't care how. You shouldn't care either. I do care because it doesn't make sense. You know what does make sense? Hello? The news. The lady. Hold on. I'm not done talking to you. Queens, man. I am here to inform you. Hold up, Tiny. What are you doing in my house? 
I am here to inform you some important news. No, no, I mean, why did you come in my house without knocking? Oh, uh, the door was not shut all the way, so when I went to knock, it just opened up, so I just went myself in. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, next time, close the door and knock, because you never know when I am night gownless if you get what I'm saying. Oh, yes, I understand perfectly. I'm more of a onesie guy myself. I like the butt flaps. <laughs> Just tell me what it is that you had to tell me. All of the neighborhood boys are stuck in their homes. It's Pukai! Oh, that's what I'm talking about, Tiny. I knew, I knew I could count on you. Oh, yes. Thank you, thank you. I have many talents, but I really shine with hitting jokes in the face with dog crap. Or any crap. I tell you. This is gonna be a beautiful relationship, Tiny. Uh, baby girl, will you bring Mama her purse, please? Yeah, Mama. <sighs> Thank you, baby girl. Oh, uh, Tiny, this is my granddaughter, baby girl. Baby girl, this is Tiny. Oh, why does my heart feel like this? So, is your name actually Tiny, or is it like a nickname? Oh, uh, my name is whatever you want it to be. I love your hat! Oh, I love you. Huh? What did you say? Oh, uh, I, I mean thank you. <laughs> I love frogs too. Look! This is Mr. Turtle. Oh, wow! <gasps> what a treasure she is. Oh. Greetings, Mr. Turtle. It is an absolute pleasure to meet you. Oh, you two are the absolute key. Wait a minute. So you mean to tell me you've been wearing a frog hat this entire time? I was thinking it was a turtle. <gasps> Mama, how many times do we have to go through this? I'm sorry, my mama can't tell the difference between a frog and a turtle for some reason. And she's really bad at math. Now, hold on. Just because I don't agree with your little toonie carts don't mean that I'm bad at math. Oh yeah? Let's see about that. Hey Tiny, when you put a mommy and a daddy together on cartoons, what do you get? That, that's easy. Uh, a cow and chicken, of course. See, Mama? But I, I still don't understand. How can you get a turtle and a frog confused with each other? Are your eyes going bad from the aging process? My eyes are fine, thank you. What? No, they're not. You have glasses. Oh, yes. Now I know this may sound crazy, but maybe if you wore your glasses, you would be able to tell the difference between a frog and a turtle. And maybe you math better too. I only need them to read, okay? Anywho, let me get you what I owe you for the pink eye. What? Oh, no, no, that won't be necessary. You see, you have given me something far more valuable than money. I, I don't recall giving you anything, Tiny, but you did. You introduced me to baby girl and Mr. Turtle. I was being mannerly. I wasn't giving you anything. But it, it, it truly made my day. So, uh, yes, you gave me, uh, oh, you gave me joy. Oh, well, honey, that's so kind of you, but we had a deal. No, no, uh, Willie, really, I insist. Plus, it's not like I don't enjoy sticking it to Billy. I can't stand him. Well, next time, I insist. Understood, understood. Um, but uh, you ladies, enjoy the rest of your day. Um, bye, baby girl. Bye, Mr. Toto. I, I really like him, Mama. And he doesn't like Billy, so I like him even more. He's a character, that's for sure. Yeah, he's really weird. But I love weird. Well, that makes sense, honey, because you're very weird yourself. Thank you. But is his name really Tiny Mama? 
I don't know, honey. That's just what I've been calling him. Uh, Mama? What? Ugh! Why is he picking up cat poop with his tiny hands? Simple. He takes his new job very seriously. <laughs>